Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to fix lag spikes on your PlayStation 5. So, first of all, we got to go to Settings, then click on Network, go to Settings, click on Setup Internet Connection, then select your Wi Fi network from the list, click on the Options button on your controller, and go to Wi Fi Frequency Band. So, if your internet router is pretty close to your PlayStation 5, preferably in the same room, then you can select the 5 GHz option and your connection is going to be pretty fast. However, it might be a bit less stable. And then if your router is located quite far from your PS5, in a different room for example, then you can select 2.5 GHz option. Then your connection will be slower, but more stable. So you can test out this option and see if it has any impact on your gaming or lag spikes. And if you're not sure which one works better for you, just set it to automatic and leave it like that. Then what you could also do is go to advanced settings here for your Wi-Fi network, click on it, and here for your DNS settings, they usually will be set to automatic. However, we can change it to manual and try a couple of other DNS options. For example, we can use Cloudflare DNS, they are quite popular. Primary DNS is going to be 1.1.1.1, click on done, and the secondary is going to be 1.0.0.1, click on done, and here we go, and then click on OK. So a Cloudflare DNS is a pretty decent option, and using it may decrease your lag spikes. But also we could try a Google DNS, it's also considered pretty good, so primary Google DNS is going to be 8. 8.8.8.8 and the secondary DNS is going to be 8.8.4.4 and click on done. This way you would set up the Google DNS. And don't forget to click on OK here. And also there's one more thing which we can try changing in order to fix your lags on your PS5 is the MTU settings. They are set to automatic but let's change it to manual. So right now it's set to 1500 which is great for people with stable and fast connection. However, if you're not having a stable connection, we can change it. Try setting 1473, click on done, click OK, and give it a try. And if that doesn't work, you can also try to decreasing it to 1450. Yep, here it is. And pretty much that's it, those are the ways you can try to decrease lag on your PlayStation 5. Please let me know in the comments if these methods helped you decrease lagging. I hope they did. See you next time, bye bye.